This is an example of calculating variance and standard deviation from sample values. In this example, six people took a midterm exam in their psychology class. Their grades were a 65, 50, 73, 82, 100, and 99. The question says to find the variance and standard deviation. So as part of the solution, let's first start with what we're given and making that into mathematical notation. We have a total of six grades, or six people, so that would be n is six. When we calculate uh, the summation of x squared, we need that value. That says to take all of the values themselves and square each one of them. So we want to take 65, square it, add it to 50 squared, add it to 73 squared, add it to 82 squared, add it to 100 squared, and add it to 99 squared. So you should see 65 squared plus 50 squared plus 73 squared plus 82 squared plus 100 squared plus 99 squared. So you have to square all of the individual data values first and then simplify. You should get 38,579. The next thing we need is the summation of all the x's. This means to add all of the data values. So we need to add 65 plus 50 plus 73 plus 82 plus 100 plus 99. When we do that, we'll get 469. That's the sum of the x's. In order to calculate the variance, <coughs> we need to use the formula from our note card. And the variance is given by s squared. That's our mathematical notation for variance. And we take n times the summation of x squared minus then the summation of x, and then we'll square it and then divide by n times n minus 1. When we <clears throat> plug all those values in, we know n is 6, so we'll plug that in. The summation of x squared, we had just calculated that up here, which is 38,579. We'll then subtract the summation of x. Well, the summation of x was 469, and then we'll square it. And then we'll divide everything by n, which is 6, times n, which is 6, and then minus 1. So when we simplify down, when we take 6 times 38,579, we should get 231,474. When we take 469 and square it, we get 219961. And then 6 times 5 is 30. So we're going to divide everything by 30. When we simplify even further on top, taking the numerator, we should simplify that down to get 1, uh, 11,513, 11, and we'll divide by 30. And this all simplifies down to uh, 383.76, and it repeats. Okay. And these, this is the variance. The standard deviation all we have to do is take the square root of this number because the standard deviation equation is given by s and that's the square root of the variance. Remember the variance is n times the summation of x squared minus the summation of x and then square it and then divide by n times n minus 1. So we're going to take the square root of 383.7, and then it repeats. And then we'll simplify down, and we'll get 19.6.